Hey my squidlings, it's Katie here, and I hope you're having an absolutely squidlicious day. So today we're going to be doing the ballpoint pen challenge, and I'm very excited. Uh, if you are a patron, you voted on this poll, and I know it's technically tied right now, but ballpoint pen challenge was winning at one point, so we're going to go with that one this time. So I'm just going to flip open my sketchbook and I'm going to do it right over here. I am going to be using my Parku erasable gel pens. Um, I know it's probably cheating, but technically these are ballpoint pens, so it's not cheating that much. Plus, I had a subscriber say that they wanted to see me do an illustration only in these and I thought it would be fun to uh, do a ballpoint pen challenge. So without further ado, I suppose we're just going to go ahead into it and I am going to uh, voice over starting now. Alright, so like I said, the voiceover is starting now. I am starting out by sketching kind of the base skeleton of what I want. And I want to be the first to say that this really didn't turn out as well as I had wanted to. This was actually the second attempt at this picture. The first one, we're not even talking about that one, it was bad. Um, so I started with a light blue and I think one of the mistakes I made in this ballpoint pen challenge is grabbing these gel pens and not that they're bad I actually really like them but you can't get very good um, like color variations because they're a gel pen uh, basically what you get is what you get and uh, so it was a little difficult um, but I'm not going to blame the uh, pens for my problems because I just don't draw and pen very much so when I make a mistake um, even though I could erase these I tried to not erase as much as possible because whenever you erase with these pens uh, the pens tend to not want to lay back down over it so uh, I really tried to not erase as much as possible so I don't know I really don't like this final piece as much as I had wanted to it's not bad per se but it's definitely not my best work so uh, before you comment and be like oh my goodness this is your worst work in the whole world I already know um, so uh, yeah <laughs> I really wanted to draw a fairy that is kind of like a water fairy. Her wings are kind of water and um, she has water dripping off of her and underneath later on in the video there will be like a splash of water underneath her. Um, I thought it was a fun little thing to do and I really wanted to keep this piece as monochromatic as possible. I do end up bringing a darker blue into this but it was just really for just some of the darker parts of the picture. So if you have ever tried the ballpoint pen challenge, I would love to see it. And if you want to, you can definitely share it with me on any social media um, or just let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, speaking of comments, comment a challenge that you think I should do um, down below in the comment section. I would like to do at least one challenge a month. I'm trying to do that anyway. So uh, this is January's challenge and I'm really excited about all that jazz. Uh, another thing is if you are already and you want to be a part of our patron family there will be a link on the screen to where you can go do so it helps support the channel and you also get some really cool rewards from works in progress shots to line art every month to prints sent to you every month in the mail so please check that out i would really appreciate it i also have an art store if you want to check that out where i sell prints and originals of my art as well as buttons and stickers and stuff like that so again if you'd like to check out my art for sale there will be a link on the screen I went with a more hatchy like design on her wings. Uh, I started with a dark blue and then I moved inward with the lighter blue and then I left a big old blob of it white just because I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, I added a little bit of a design on her tights and then in a second you'll see me go in and actually draw the splash that happens underneath her. Um, added a little bit of shading um, like I said with the pin not being able to uh, get varying shades. It was a little hard but I did it. <laughs> So yeah, uh, basically the video is over. Here's a look at the final piece. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to thumbs up the video if you like videos like this. If you haven't already and you want to be a part of our cute little squid pod, you can certainly do so by clicking that subscribe button. So until next time guys, toodaloo!